Good morning, everybody. I just wanted to do a quick tour again of my garden. Uh, today is September 11th. Um, just wanted to show you the progress of the progress or the redoing of my um, garden. Um, since the season is almost done for most of this summer gardening, I did clean up some areas and was able to start doing some more um, seeds for fall, fall harvest. Um, I'm hoping that I can still get some fall harvest before the cold front comes in. Um, for some reason, um, the temperature for this season is just so weird. Um, we're even supposed to have like a 40 degree weather or temperature tonight um, for the next two days and 70s in the morning. So I'm just hoping the frost doesn't come in early just because I did um, plant some late, kind of like late August um, seedlings so for for me to be able to have a full harvest so um, they are sprouting right now but I'm just not positive now that I'll be able to get some um, produce from them if the cold front comes in very very early um, yesterday it uh, rained really really good so I was able to um, have a little break from watering this babies um, and it's very very cloudy today, uh, today as well so I'm not sure if it rains again later so I'll hold off and watering them um, so they won't drown um, I can see I have a few tomatoes to harvest today and some yellow squashes look how big they are and this is why I love staking them because they're off the ground I have more room to you know um, plant some more stuff I did uh, already harvested the three big um, butternut squash over there but I have a few more here as well as in the back area you can't see them but it's right well right there in the bottom I probably will show you in the other view of them um, that's my big boys over there. Oh, I have, I have another big zucchini here. And another big one over there that's ready. And the other one can stay for now. Um, and this is my second row of tomatoes. Believe it or not, guys, these tomatoes are over 5 feet tall. And I'm only 5 feet and they're almost well not almost it's like way past me so that's why i know they're five feet tall over five feet tall and i believe my rainbow tomatoes are ready to harvest as well they're one of the biggest ones this was my um second um transplant of my tomatoes and they're almost going up to five feet as well they're really, really doing great. I can see all um, new uh, produce over there. I have two yellow squashes in the middle over there that I'm also staking because I I, I'm a firm believer of staking nowadays. My marigolds are doing so great. And this used to be where my corns are. I'm gonna show you. Let me just go in here so this used to be where my corn was and I cleaned it all up um, I uh, amend the soil a little bit put some more eggshells and some more um, soil that's really good um, and uh, I put garlic in here so lots and lots and lots and lots of um, garlic um, these were my suckers tomatoes that I've transplanted and they're doing great um, My green beans. I just uh, put in seeds right there There's more over here and they just sprouted 
suckers from the tomatoes, suckers from the tomatoes. My eggplant finally grew. Um, it's such a late season for them. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna put more green beans here because I already put uh, a few there before, but it's just not sprouting for some reason. This one I thought at first was eggplant and it ended up being peppers. So I guess I'm not very, very sad about that. I have a few coming out. I'm so happy. And then now that I know that they are technically perennials, I can uh, dig them out and uh, put them in a pot and then replant them next year. All right? So these are my tomatoes over in that third bed. Um, my empalayas are still doing great. I'm going to show you this area as well. Um, there used to be all the salad greens. I took them out as well because they're all like already getting really dried up and not tall and stuff like that. So they're not as good anymore. They're very bitter. Um, so I was able to um, put all another batch of garlic here. Um, they're all soft necks. I have all these purple beans ready to be harvested in a few seconds here. Um, I have a new pole beans over on that side. The sugar snaps are almost ready to be pulled out. Um, they're not producing as much anymore. Uh, new green beans, pole beans, green bean pole beans. This is my tiny Tim. My tiny Tim just ready to be red and uh, I could harvest them. Uh, I'm in this side, another uh, sucker tomato that I replanted there. Um, green beans, green beans, green beans. Uh, zucchini I just started over there. Uh, these are beets. Uh, my watermelon is pretty much done. I don't think they're going to produce another one. My daughter already took out the... What is this from? Oh, this is from the, the butternut. So this one I cleaned up because they are just having a lot of powdery mildew like that. And I know they're getting ready to be done for the season anyway. So I just left a few good looking leaves, but I know they're getting, they're getting bad as the day goes. So I probably will just and they're almost getting ready anyway. They're almost turning really, um, well, it used to be green. And now it's turning yellowish brown. So these are my calabasa and another calabasa here. There is another one that's turning down here, right there. So I'm just going to wait for the calabasa to be pulled out. My uh, watermelon, I'm just going to pull out. It's not really doing great over there either. So this area is pretty much done. My okra, oh my goodness. This used to be just really, just this one the other, yesterday. And now it's like really tall. So yeah, I've been harvesting. As, as they grew, I harvest. So they will keep on growing more. So I harvested here. One, two, three, four. So this would be my fifth harvest um, and then I can see one two three four so as, as I take it out one by one they will just keep on producing so so smell good I just let them flower the bees love them that's this this is chives and my poor strawberry patch I just need to amend that next year I guess I have a few more uh, suckers of tomatoes that I put down there. I have Brussels sprouts that's been like growing really little for the longest time. Anyway, so let me go over to the other arbor. This, used, this, was, this is supposed to be pole beans, but it's not, as, it's not growing as fast as they should. So in this side, this used to be where my cucumbers were. I pulled them out because they were done for the season and I started putting more seedlings. Um, I know I had like a few there. I saw a few seedlings coming out the other day. But for some reason the, the bugs got them first. This one is the one that's kind of like 
trying to survive so hopefully that would um, survive so I will still be able to have a cucumbers hopefully um, I forgot to grab all the dead leaves from the the bitter melon I have a few here that's oh, so beautiful I love them I have a few here and I believe I have a few in the back let's see yeah there they are uh-huh so I'll get that later um, my broccoli are doing great I have four one two three four my tiny Tim's are still green um, I have another thing here I think I have slugs so that's why Let's see how they are the seedlings they got the head there was another one here beside it right here they cut off so I hope this one will survive because I really do want to have some cucumbers still um, I'm gonna hide this baby so hopefully the other ones will come up so uh, yeah more tiny tims there another view of my tomatoes oh I have another one here too so okay let me go to the other side I like how this arbor looks like just make me, makes me feel like I'm in a secret garden or something oh I can hear the bees where is it oh it's in that flower buzzing you see that here we go hi baby girl hi mom <laughs> i have a lot of beans for you later yay yay beans. yeah you like beans huh and look at this they have their own trellis but of course they're trying to go over in this side crazy bitter melons but yeah look at this mom yes sweetie pie mm -hmm. yeah another looking tomatoes here something's getting ripe Ooh, there's more over there oh mama's gonna go happy go lucky with all the red ones coming out over there Shoo -hoo -hoo, yay mm -hmm. and there's all the butternut squash in this side Mm -mm, the neighbor is doing something. Neighbor is doing something. Mm -hmm. They're fixing something. Okay, I'm trying to get myself out of this mess. I just, uh, my bottoms just got stuck in the deer netting behind me. There we go. Sorry about that. Come on, come on. Why does it always do that? Okay, let me go this way. Mm -hmm. My tomatoes smell so good right now. Oh, more uh, rainbow tomatoes here. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at my hand. Huge. Spink on? That is huge. Yeah, and that's the other one here too. Yeah, that's one. Yeah. Yeah, and this is getting partly mildew as well. And they're not even in the in the ground. So this is a late part of the season that they're really gonna get diseases as the season's ending. I'm just happy that I got more produce of these plants before they really got sick and stuff. I probably could still uh, spray them some neem oil or uh, dish soap, soap and water and little oil, I guess. I'm not sure if that's uh, going to help with the powder and mildew. I know they help with aphids right here. So, there's our it's also steak. Let's see. And I believe there's more yellow squash. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is like six feet, over six feet tall. This is the tallest I got. 
but these are a combination of like lots of like five of them in there yeah but have a lot of tomatoes in there for real this one's another six footer it's rainbow tomatoes another stuff suckers over there that I put down they're doing okay I guess oh let me see I'm showing you my green beans that I put green beans green beans green beans I have a few more there and over here I just put since there's like empty spaces you know and this is the bush beans this is not the pool beans so whatever extra space I can find that I can put something in I'll go ahead and do it peppers more flowers hopefully they'll flower before they have more produce before before the season is done they were very late this year my peppers because I didn't put them early in or I didn't start to seed early enough so that's a lesson to learn you know um I literally just not paying attention to my onions I'm just leaving them here just so to get rid of you know bugs and stuff uh, this is definitely ready this is huge look at my hand this is another huge one probably a heavy 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 see look at my hand mm -hmm. rainbow tomatoes I love rainbow tomatoes they are really really great yeah so yeah, these are my second installment of the tomatoes and they're really, we're doing so great. I really love my little melons over there. They're so them. cute. Alright, sweetie. Yeah. Are we going to go say bye-bye? Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you for being with me in this journey. I'll uh, have another garden tour before this one will all be done thanks again have a good morning bye bye